Hello guys! Welcome to the chapter Pinterest Pins. In this lesson, we're going to talk about what are Pinterest Pins. Let's get started. People who are using Pinterest are looking for ideas about any topic they can think of. When people use the Pinterest search engine to look for ideas, inspiration, recipes, blogs about certain topics, the search results will show them tons of vertical photos on their Pinterest feed. These are referred to as Pinterest pins. Pins are visual bookmarks that you can collect and save for later use as a reference for your future projects. You must treat Pinterest pins differently from other social media platforms where you share photos. Pins can help brands get their content discovered, and pins are more likely to be saved and shared by other Pinterest users if it has prominent text overlays. These text overlays help people learn what your pin is all about. Most pins are linked to blogs, articles, or e-commerce websites, so it's a great platform to increase web traffic. When people browse their feed to look for content, they are searching for pins that catches their attention. As a content creator, you must make your pin stand out from the other pins that are shown on the search results. Now let's take a look at different types of pins that you can see on Pinterest. How-to guides. This is a great type of content where people want to know how they can learn to build something. You can search for any niche of how-tos or tutorials. You will find tons of pins that offer tutorials from certain topics. The pins that stand out from these how-to tutorials are pins with images that show the end result of the tutorial. Like in this example, it shows how to organize pots and pans. You can see in this photo the end result that you can get from their tutorial. And it's also a great idea to use multiple photos that will show the different results that people can get from following the guide. As a viewer, you want to see how this guide will help you. Do it yourself. With DIYs, these pins can showcase products that are used for ideas or projects like organizing your home hacks. When people see these pins, they will have the urge to purchase these products as they have seen different hacks that they can try on from these ideas. Food or recipes. Food pins are loved by people who are looking for new recipes to try. Most of the time, people choose a food pin depending on how good the food photo is. Food pins that have more clicks and saves shows the top view angle of the food plus a good text overlay. The good thing here is that people who are looking for ingredients can easily view the measurements in this section. Infographics. These are graphics that contain information. That is why you can view it with so many details on the pin. The only prominent text on the pin is the title or the headline of the infographics. As you can see in this example, it's a guide to self-care. It shows a step-by-step -step guide and a simple explanation of each step. Here's another example of physical health tips that are good to know. Instead of reading the whole article, the infographics are much easier to read and understand. It shows a few tips so you can easily finish reading the details. Now that you know what are pins, we can now proceed to the next topic, how to create pins. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.